we just came to know about the introductory phase of product life cycle management wherein we just came across with the importance of PLM. Now in this session we will emphasize on what are the various stages which are involved in the product life cycle management that is PLM. So stages in the product life cycle. At the end of this session, learners will be able to understand various stages which includes in the PLM. This is the learning outcome at the end of this session. The stages of PLM, a graph is put in front of you which is plotted on cells versus the time. And we can see here a graph like a mountain peak, it builds in and then is it goes off. So every product which is built for some sort of a utility, so some sort of a function that it needs to intended the purpose for, it goes through these four stages. First stage is the introduction, second one is the growth, third one is the maturity, fourth one is the decline or dispose of. We will see the stages in details in the subsequent slides which we are going to put into the ideation phase of it also. That means the imagination part of it that is the conceptualization stage then the definition of that particular intention for which we are going to manufacture this product then comes how we are going to manufacture the growth stage, the maturity stage and then the dispose of. The service life and support also we are going to include. In this graph, it is very well said that at the introductory phase, as this is the start of getting the market and the first customer acquisition cost is going to include. That means particularly this introduction stage will have low sales. Then the customer acquisition cost would be high, high cost per customer. Then comes the financial losses which will incurred at the introductory phase that is but natural. Then comes the sort of innovative customers which we need to tackle and from that experiences our learning curve will be improved then there would be a lesser competitors because you are having a added advantage of the design which is newer and innovative than your competitors. If at all there are the competitors, they would be lesser in the numbers. Then comes the growth stage. It is the ramp up stage or the linear growth stage where you will feel the increase in the sales cost of acquisition per customer considerably falls down. Naturally, the profit margins are going to rise. Increasing the number of customers would be an encouraging point at this stage where we are calling it as a growth. That means we are acquiring the customers at large numbers. Naturally, when we are acquiring the customers, some competitors will come into picture that means we will face the competition. More competitors is what we are putting it at this stage. Okay. Next comes the maturity. Maturity at that point, it is a saturation. It is the peak which we achieve through the cells. Here, it is more important part that cost of per customer acquisition is very lowest. That means a saturation period, we are having a brand which is built into the market and we known by the brand value that we are set up in. Then the profits are at high stage. The mass market is being captured. We are having a good capital acquired from the market. Stable number of competitors. Here, in the growth stage, we face more competitors. But those who could able to compete in the growth stage, they will remain 
as our competitors that means we know that these are some of the customers to whom we are going to have the uh, competition with this is the maturity stage but after maturity there comes the decline decline is a peculiar symbol of getting off from the market that is uh, dispose of stage comes into picture a retirement stage also we can put the name as the retirement means the declining from the market falling sales is the first virtue by which we know that it is now declining cost per customer acquisition is lowered profit considerably falls down customer base contracts that means most of the customers now they, they may have changed their uh, uh, likings and might be moved to your competitors number of competitors again falls down because as they are in the maturity phase competing with you they might have also experiencing the same sort of a decline with the customers delight now we will see the stages in details this is the four stages introduction growth maturity and decline but before introduction we are having some sort of a uh, precursor that is the imagination part of it then how you are going to design it that part also comes into picture that we will see in the next slide here is the first stage that is the imagination during this phase the product is just an idea in someone heads in someone's head most of the great products from the entrepreneur starts here without knowing that they are already developing their product life cycle for example thinking of some of the artifact to write and not to have to refill the ink every time it runs out so a sort of a uh, artifact that we want to develop with a sort of an idea that is the first stage that is the imagination it is said that an idea is generated at the minds of four people in the universe at a time at a time it comes to the four people but only one out of them could able to culminate it into a product that is what the imagination stage which prompts you to go for the proof of concept that is the conceptualization of that part the second stage is the definition the ideas are converted into a detailed description so it is the proof of your concept which describes your idea in its totality the description of how you want your product to be in every aspect looks like for example describing a long plastic tube filled with the ink and a steel ball point to have a continuous flow of ink while writing this is what the artifact now we are at a stage to define it in its particular aspect this is the definition stage now we will move in the third stage that is the realization that is a tangibility that we are going to offer to this artifact from the manufacturing side the realization happens this phase of the product life cycle is where the products take the life and are executed at the end of this stage the product exists in their final form which will go to the consumer or the customer which is potentially known for that is producing your pen and having a physical final product ready to launch this is the realization tangibility to the product then comes the support and use here where the product is in action the consumer using it meanwhile the business is lending support on any aspect that the customer needs for example launching your product to the market and having the feedbacks getting from the user then comes the retire or dispose stage eventually every product gets to this stage where it is no longer useful and is disposed of from the market 
it gets retirement and that's how the pain which we make will go off the market customer will most likely go and buy another one which he delights the references for these are product life cycle management by mikhail grives he is the tata magro hill author who wrote this book a textbook on product design by carl t ulrich and steven ipincher thank you